Yo, welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. All right, so last night I received a surprise delivery from Winspace. It's two huge boxes. I kind of have an idea what's inside. However, I have not opened up the boxes yet. So it's the following day right now. It's like 6.30 in the morning. So let's go ahead and open up these two boxes and let's see what's inside. And as you can see, yeah, I just finished uh, my workout here. Um, I was doing a, a group ride. It was a B race. And yeah, I got dropped like 20 minutes in. So that's always fun. But let's go take a look in these boxes. Here. Oh, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Uh, got some other stuff also in the mail, but that will be a video for another day. And this is all the other uh, stuff I had. This is basically my uh, bike storage here. I've got some uh, my old uh, wheels for my LA Sprint, uh, the Hypers there. Got some other stuff too as well. All right, so let's get these boxes open. Let's see what's crap. Just got faster. I did just get faster. Yes, yes sir. Some water bottles, which is pretty cool. Yo, that is sick. That is sick. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. All right. And of course, we have our integrated handlebar. Ooh, I'm pretty excited. Yo, this is wicked. I did it. I did it, guys. I finally made a deal with the cycling Illuminati to move over from rim brakes to disc brakes. I'm gonna lose all my friends, probably lose my wife, probably lose all my followers on Instagram. The no one's gonna wanna ride with me on the road. Come at my neck, and I don't understand maybe what for it all the dentists, why you guys are so embarrassed is out there. Your eagles or your I don't pride, know what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna explain this yet again. I took an L today. <sighs> Yo, welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. In today's video, we are doing an unboxing and first impression of Winspace's T1500 aero frame set as well as their Hyper 65 wheel set in the disc brake version. Now, full disclosure, Winspace and I did come to an agreement to send out the frame set and wheels for the sake of my reviews as well as all subsequent videos on Winspace. But more on that a little bit later. And the other thing I want to preference too is that I chose this color here, which is a in turbulent blue. It's a brand new color for uh, Winspace. The reason why I chose this color is because first of all, it's it's amazing. It's sick. But if you guys noticed either out on the road or even on social media a lot of bikes these days have become really conservative and really just boring and for myself every bike that I've owned has always been in the color black so it's a nice change of pace to have something a little bit more wild a little bit more crazy something that stands out over all the plain white and black and army green color bikes that we've been seeing uh, in the past couple of years. And in this first impressions video, guys, we're gonna be discussing um, six topics very briefly. The first is gonna be why disc brakes in general that I chose. Number two, why I chose to work with Winspace. Number three, the specs and pricing of the frame set and the wheel set. Number four, the ordering process. Number five, my overall first impressions of the frame and the wheels. And number six, the, my plans for building up this bike. So starting with topic number one, why disc brakes? So I already know you guys are gonna be roasting me forever in the comments section here because I've always been a big advocate of, you know, rim brakes for life. So I already know now that all the trolls and all the haters are gonna be tapping, tapping on their on their computers. Hey bro, you, you said, you get what I'm trying to get at. So, but I wanna say that I wanted to challenge myself in building a brand new bike. Um, if you guys have been following my channel for some time, you know that I've already built up two bikes at home completely by myself. And even though they both have been rim brake bikes, I wanna keep challenging myself to continue to build more and more bikes and just build up my knowledge of, of how to deal with bikes like this one. And so I think it's, it's a nice challenge for me to have to deal with uh, setting up the hydraulic brakes here. And let's be honest, if the future of bikes is disc brakes, then at some point I'm gonna to have to jump on the bandwagon sooner or later. Point number two, two. 
why I chose to work with Winspace. So I'm already an existing customer of Winspace. As you guys know, um, I own a pair of their Hyper 65s, but in the rim brake version. And at the time of this video, I've already done like 10,000 kilometers, which is about 6,000 miles on these wheels in less than six months. So I already love what they're doing and I'm super excited that we were able to work together because they're doing a lot of great work. Um, they have a great social media presence and their customer service is really, really good. But the most important reason why I chose to work with Winspace comes down to their lack of presence in the United States. So if you follow social media or if you're on YouTube, you know that there are a lot of reviews out there for Winspace frames and their wheels, but a lot of them is coming from the Far East, Australia, and in Canada. But there's not a lot of people here reviewing Winspace products here in the United States. And so I'm hoping that I can sort of, you know, add my experience to the pot of some of the YouTube reviewers in, in the United States that are that are currently existing. Um, but you know, I want to be able to show you guys as the American customers what it's like to go through the process of ordering and dealing with Winspace. Um, I know there is a lot of reservations when it comes to American customers dealing with bike brands from the Far East, and it's totally understandable, which is why you see a lot of them end up going with the bigger and more expensive brands. And so I just want to show you guys that there's a lot of great work and products coming from the Far East, especially dealing with these companies direct. And so I just want to rest assure you guys that what I go through will be similar of a, a process and experience that you guys would go through as the American customer. Now moving on to number three, the specs, pricing of the frame set and the wheel set. So starting with the frame set. So as I mentioned before, this is Winspace's T1500 Aero frame set. Uh, it's fully carbon, it's UCI legal if that's your thing, but like, let's be honest, if you're watching my channel, you probably aren't doing any sort of UCI sanctioned races. But if that's important to you in terms of testing and quality control, good for you. Now at the time of this video, uh, the frame set cost $1,480 USD um, and I ordered a size large um, and just for reference, I am six feet tall and I weigh 74 kilograms, which is about 163, 164 uh, pounds. Now why I chose the Aero frame set over some of their other offerings is because Chicago is flat as a pancake, like flat, flat, flat. So Aero is everything around here. And even though I'm not the heaviest guy um, out there or the lightest guy, Aerodynamics is very important to me. Now, moving on to the handlebars. Now, the handlebars are $290 USD. Um, I went with a 400 millimeter width uh, bar with the 125 millimeter stem. Now, the handlebars are, of course, integrated, um, but that's just the specs that I went with. Now, the angle of the bars is negative uh, 10 degree angle and the reach is 75 millimeters. So yeah, I have long arms and long legs, short torso, so I need all the reach I can possibly get. It's gonna be interesting uh, having to deal with um, routing these cables through the integrated bars into uh, the steer tube. Now moving on uh, finally to the wheel set. This is, like I said, the Hyper uh, 65 wheel set. Um, they cost $1,200 uh, USD. Now I've already done a full review on the rim brake version of these wheels. Um, I'll put a link in the description and up here, somewhere up here at some point. Um, but I've been using them on LA Sprint for all these miles and kilometers and I absolutely love them. I, 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 there isn't more that I could say about how much I love them. I mean, they're, they're aero, uh, they're super duper lightweight. They handle extremely well in the crosswinds. Even when you're going down um, hills at 45 miles an hour, there's no speed wobbles, ceramic bearings, all that good stuff, and at an amazing affordable price relative to other brands that they compete with. I love them, so I don't really have much to say on that. So we'll see how these do on the disc brake version, but yeah, the rim brake version, guys, awesome. Go get you a pair. Moving on to number four, the ordering process. Um, so what I did, which I would recommend to everyone out there, especially for American customers, is first off, um, go ahead and visit the website, um, check out a frame, a wheel set or other accessories that you're interested in buying. From there, send an email directly to uh, Winspace to make sure that what you're looking for is actually in stock. From there, you can uh, work with their customer service uh, team to make sure everything you want is in stock. From there, you can go ahead and make your purchase. Um, you can do it through PayPal or whatever means uh, works from you. And then a few days later, they'll package everything nice and tight and neat and they'll be on your way uh, to your home or wherever you want. Um, for me, shipping to Chicago took about two weeks. 
um, since everything was in stock, which is really good considering how far it has uh, to travel. And when the box arrived, as you guys saw, everything was packaged very, very uh, nicely. The presentation was good. Um, they provided everything I needed for the bike build. Um, as well as the wheels. Um, it was nice to have the water bottle. So shout out to Windspace for those. I really, really appreciate that. And just uh, moving on to number five guys, which is the overall first impressions of the wheels and uh, the frame. Now I'm not any sort of carbon layup expert or engineer. So I couldn't even begin to tell you all the nuances when it comes to that. But from what I can tell so far is um, the paintwork is really, really uh, high quality. I would say it's it's right up there with um, the, the bigger brands that, that people know about. Um, there weren't any uh, random uh, sharp edges or any paint chips, anything that would make me um, suspect that there's an issue with the quality of the frame. Everything felt really, really good. Just everything just really sturdy and really consistent, which is what you want when you're dealing with uh, a bike brand that is competing with the likes of th some of the bigger brands uh, out there. Now with the handlebars, they are extremely uh, stiff and they are a little bit heavy, but those are the things that you want when you're dealing with uh, an integrated handlebar set that you're gonna be using for sprinting or getting out of the saddle when you're uh, climbing up hills. So I'm fine with having them be a little bit heavy, knowing that I have that assurance and security that they're not gonna fail on me when I'm putting out mad watts because you know, I put out whatever, that's a whole other story. And moving on guys, finally to number six, which is my plans for building this bike. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, I can either do a build series on this bike, which I've done before with my LA Sprint. It is a lot of fun, um, but I've already kind of done that before. The only difference would be that I would be doing them with the hydraulic disc brakes rather than rim brake. The other option I thought about is maybe taking the frame set in the wheels and all my components to uh, a local bike shop here in my area and having the bike built up professionally while I go ahead and film the whole process, sort of like a dream build uh, bike video for the T1500. And anyone out there who's ever tried to build a bike and film at the same time, you know that it's extremely cumbersome and it's very, very time consuming. So my thought process was if I take it to a local bike shop and they can do the whole entire build in a single day while I film, I think I can get significantly better quality of video footage for you guys in a much more concise package of a video. But let me know what you think in the comments. And as always guys, if you have any questions or any other comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Um, and I will check you guys on the next video. I have a lot more quality content coming guys very, very soon. Now that it's cold outside and I'm stuck indoors on the trainer, I have a lot more time now for these video guys. So thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate all the support, like I said, and I will check you guys on the next one. Peace. I, I can't believe this. Patrick said he was rim brake for life. I don't understand why he's moving the disc. He's a, he's a sellout. I don't like this guy. I, I freaking hate this guy. I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna unfollow his YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave nasty comments down below. Uh, uh, this, guy's, this guy's a buster, man. I, I don't like what he's doing. And he's ugly.